Hey guys, welcome, 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 welcome back to the channel. And um, if you're a subscriber, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome. This is Trinity Gamer Loop, and today we are going to be doing a tutorial on how to manually install LSPDFR. Um, I think this way it will fix a lot of problems if you manually do it instead of having the automatic installer do it for you. So I'm going to show you guys how we are going to do that today. All right, so <clears throat> I got my um, Agamondo LSPDFR website and we are going to go to LSPDFR. I hope you guys are having a great day and I hope this tutorial will help fix any issue that you might be having. So we're going to hit download LSPDFR 0.4.8. All right. And we hit um, the download button over here. It's all the agreements, the licenses and stuff like that. So you hit agree and download. And over here, we're going to see the automatic file. And we're also going to see 048 manual zip and 047 manual zip. All right. Stay tuned for the next video because in the next video, I'm going to show you guys how to revert back your game to 047 manually. If you are having a problem with 048 or if it's crashing the game or anything like that, I'm going to show you guys how to revert back to the old version in the next video. So. Be sure to look up, be on the lookout for that video or check my tutorial section and it should be in there, right? By the time you watch this, that video should be in there, okay, guys? So don't forget, if you like tutorials, you want to stay up to date with tutorials and different ways to hack um, the game and um, hack basically the mods that you're setting up, then please hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date. Um, I try to go through different shortcuts and backdoors to see if we can um, get the game working if it's not working and stuff like that um, Different things that you might not get elsewhere. All right guys So don't forget hit that subscribe button and hit the thumbs up on this video help spread it All right, help grow my channel. Thank you so much All right, so let's get into this. So first I'm just gonna show how to manually install 048 All right, so we hit the download file manually and that should start downloading all right now i'm doing all of this from the for the first time from scratch all right guys so uh, hit save save the file it should go into a downloads folder so while we wait for that to download we will be opening it up our grant photo 5 directory right um you guys should probably know if you have steam you go to your c drive most likely and you go to program files x68 you look for steam then you go to um steam apps um and then common and you should be um good to go i do not have mine in there i have it on another hard drive so i already created a shortcut so uh i'll give you guys this quick tip um it helps you get um to your um main directory very fast so mine is on the g drive over here so i'm gonna hit g drive i'm gonna go to steam um steam apps common and you see my Grand Theft Auto 5 here. And now I'm going to right click on Grand Theft Auto 5 and hit send to desktop create shortcut. All right. So now whenever you, you're ready, you just double click here and you're in your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. Okay. So now we're in the Grand Theft Auto 5 directory, the main file. All right. So what we're going to do is um, we are going to go to our downloads folder. And you see. Um, LSPDFR manual is already downloaded. Make sure you have a file um, zip opener. I prefer WinRAR. So you just type into Google WinRAR if you don't have it. Um, even though um, it's a paid version, they give you a trial. And when the trial ends, you can still use it. It just it just would prompt you and say buy WinRAR, but you can exit that out and you still will have access to using WinRAR to open your files. The only thing is they don't have the full expansion where you can um, create zips and stuff like that. But most likely all you're going to want to do is open zip files. So you hit download WinRAR the, um, right here, right here, hit that download button and set it up and you're good to go. You basically have a, a zip um, file opener that you can use for as long as you want. All right, guys. So let's open this up and you can see all these files in here uh licenses lspdfr plugins all of that right all of that good stuff so what we are going to do is i'm gonna put this like that over here and i'm gonna open up the zip folder all right 
says LSPDFR. If you look on the top on the right hand um, window, you're going to see LSPDFR 048 manual zip. All right, guys. So this is very easily, very straightforward. You're going to select all of these and then you're going to hit the control um, key. Hold down the control key and click on licenses. That way you deselect licenses. You don't need it. All right. And now you just grab these files and drag it into the white area like this right and just release it's probably would ask you if you want to replace some of the files because it's going to be repeating i have um lsp defar in my folder already so it would take a little while because this is um it's a lot of files in there so it would take a little longer doing it this way than if you do it through the automatic installer all right so now as i said we're going to hit yes replace all files in the destination and they're going to go through his way and it's going to be finished um i have a ssd so it moves a little faster but if you have an old school hard drive it could take a little longer okay so now we're done with that we're going to close this all right make this a little bigger so now all the files in my um and my Grand Theft Auto 5 has changed and basically been updated, all right? And I'm going to show you guys that right now because if you click on this folder, LSPDFR, all right? Just click on it. Now, you go here to LSPDFR configuration settings, all right? So you double click on that and it's going to open like this. These um, settings I had already changed, all right? So now, these settings went back to the default setting so you know that the game was updated all right now what i'm gonna do is and i suggest you do the same thing is that you delete true on the top just like that and make sure it's lowercase and type false all right um what this does is it keeps your game from having text texture issues all right so another thing i like to do is set interval multiplier to zero just like that and the max number of events to zero just like that all right you can keep everything as the same or if you think you want to change certain things like how many cops could be spawned in one area you could change those settings um you could um change um disable play holster action and um if you use um cop holster then you would change this to true okay um what else they have flashlight override I will change this to true as well because what happens is when you use a flashlight you will get a um uh INI file setting from your keys section they will give you an error saying that you gotta go into your keys and um change up the settings of how you use flashlight all right so just those are um just some um quick tips that I'm gonna, just gonna give you guys that might be helpful when you clean play in the game and make it more smoother for you so now we're gonna hit file all right and then you're gonna hit save and that's it now you exit that um and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go quickly into the game so we're gonna launch rage plugin hook and when we launch it we should get uh no before we launch that i'm sorry one more thing we have to do let me exit that uh go back into uh, your grant to photo 5 directory and where is it It's a file in here that says first time configuration that we should launch. Uh, all right, right here. Um, so you go into LSPDFR and then you hit LSPDFR configurator. So you double click on that and it's going to give you the first time setup. Um, advanced users can skip this, but I like to go through it. So you hit show license. Uh, it's going to do a, um, a few things for you that will be done automatically that you don't have to worry about later and might keep your game from crashing. So I suggest you just do this step, okay? You had do it for me when it says rec we recommend disabling the version text rendering, all right? Do this for me. Um, that will help with you setting up your plugins when you do install plugins later on, all right? So now we can exit this and we will go to our Rage plugin hook. Or you can, you know, you can launch a Rage plugin hook from within the Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. But what I suggest is that you right click on it, the one that says application, and you hit send to desktop create shortcut. So now it's easy for you to just bang and it opens up, all right? So here we are. And in here, under general, I suggest you change the threshold from 
10,000 to 60,000 all right you leave everything else here in this window like that then you will go to the plugins tab and you say load these plugins on startup so you're gonna load LSP there for our first response if you have multiple plugins I suggest the first time you load in that you only use LSP there for our first response and then after you exit the game and everything works fine and you're gonna um, do it again the way you want to do this is so I'm gonna exit now what you're gonna do is when you launch it again you're gonna right click um, you're gonna double click on it and hold the shift key down for a quick second and when it launches it should launch and put you into the um, into the configurator right sometimes it takes a little bit a bit to launch so if it launches like this and you let it go then you just hit this little key right here and it's gonna stop the application real quick and then give you the um, settings menu so let's just wait for that to pop in really quick as you can see it's right here so now we're in so here you can change up your settings and what you would um, are going to do is go back to plugins and say load all plugins on startup all right and then you're gonna hit save and launch now it's gonna launch the game and do what it have to do um, I'm gonna just show you guys the um, really quickly how it's launching so you guys can see that it works I'm not gonna cut it uh, or nothing like that you could fast forward um, to the next section I'm gonna let you guys see how when you do it how everything works all right so let's just wait a few seconds um, for um, the launching to take place I want you guys to see when the load screen shows up and then I'll show you guys right when it's about to load into the game all right guys so I hope this guy um, this guide help you out and I hope that it stops whatever problem that you might be having with the game don't forget to um, hit that thumbs up and, um, help spread the video it might be able to help others and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to be updated with new tutorials and new ways to stop LSPDFR from maybe crashing or if you want to know how to install a particular um, plugin or mod um, I'm very more happy to show you guys how to do that um, just leave a comment down below let me know what you guys want to see next and I'm gonna try my best to um, make a tutorial for you guys and show you guys how it's done all right guys trust me I know how it is because uh, when I first started playing this which <laughs> uh, believe it or not this is not too long ago I've always been a Grand Theft Auto fan but actually modding the game and I had no idea what I was doing a few months ago actually uh, this started what in like March that I started doing it and I only just created a YouTube channel about maybe a month and a half ago and started putting um, my gameplay up there but before that it was me figuring out how to mod the game how to get it to work and I really enjoyed it so much that I decided that you know what I had a hard time figuring out certain things I mean there are tutorials out there that's very good from certain um from certain guys that um helped me out but certain things that I was looking to do I couldn't find out how to do it so that's why I try to uh, make this more in depth and show you guys how it's done alright so we're just gonna wait for it to load and let you guys see that it does load and it does work um, this way I believe is probably the best way especially if you already have um, LSPDFR installed all right I believe this is the best way to do it or to update it and make sure that everything works for you nice and smoothly where you'll be able to go in and create your own character and stuff like that all right a quick tip is that sometime when it's loading you want to make sure that you don't see it says in offline mode because although it might load when you actually get into the game the game might not perform properly and most likely that's because your firewall might be blocking it so you might want to go into your firewall settings and put an exception on LSPDFR so it can load um, you also kind of do need an internet connection while you're actually loading LSPDFR because it does connect to back to the LSPDFR servers um, before it loads into the game to make sure your character is saved and it can load your character back into the game 
All right, so as you can see, it's loading up pretty fine. And that's with me having all my mods, all other plugins and everything still in there. Um, when you do it this way, it does not delete nothing that you have, all right? Now, if you are having a problem loading it, then I would suggest deleting your plugins, just removing it with your plugins folder and your LSPDFR folder and putting it in like this new and it should be good to go. As you can see, my old character is still in here get up let's walk outside real quick this is the new um the new updated uh, apartment that they put into the game so let's leave and let's go outside all right so still got my save vehicle and everything that i like that that i saved before and as you can see i did it like this and i'm in the game with no problems now if you had anything got corrupted or anything like that i suggest you guys do it just like this and you'll be in the game now to make sure that everything is actually working very smoothly we're gonna hit f4 and then we're gonna hit force duty all right and ev all our plugins we should go and duty everything should load up and everything should be fine as you can see all my plugins are being loaded we we'll give it a few seconds there's still a few plugins I have in there that takes a little longer to load. Then we hit the F4 button. As you can see, we are in the game as a police officer. So, I hope this was helpful for you guys. Um, I'm not going to do any gameplay. I just wanted you guys to see that it works. You see, I have deadly plugins, um, deadly weapons, super callouts, um, super events in here. And they loaded perfectly fine. So, I hope this was very helpful to you guys. Um... Please hit that subscribe button to be updated on mods and my gameplay. And very much I would appreciate it if you just touch the thumbs up button. Um, like the video. Help spread it in the YouTube algorithm. I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And I hope it was helpful for you. See you in the next one. God bless you. Peace.